I'm Claire Pry Collins. And we're at Fitch and Remus. Tell us a bit about your salon. The salon is quite a trendy, edgy salon in Cowbridge, catering for everyone really, all ages, all walks of life, all styles and interest in fashion or not. We cater for everyone. The business has been going for some time. My husband started it back in the 60s. It was already well established when I met Lance. I gave up a teaching career about 12 years ago to join the business and um, I haven't looked back since. I've had bumps and crashes along the way. We were dealt uh, quite a large blow last year. The business is now all mine as my husband passed away and that is probably the biggest learning curve is running it now single-handedly. We came into Cowbridge about 15 years ago and it's just proved to be a great place to be. So now it's over to me to see what I make of it. It's sort of starting from the ground floor and working up again, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I think the town's uniqueness relies on independence and I think everybody up and down the high street is trying to be as successful as they can. Everybody is trying to attract clients into their stores. It's not easy being an independent, but I think it definitely sets us apart from other high streets because independents are definitely where business is at its best. I would say being in the people industry is what I love. I love being around people. I love talking. I love the buzz that I get. I love the challenges of working with people. Social media is massive. In the early days, it was something that maybe my husband didn't really want to get involved in. However, it is now massive, and I think you have to be in it, whether you like it or not. The challenges on the high street are all the, all the things we hear in the news. Increasing rates, landlords putting rents up, the threat of chains moving into town, because that would alter everything that we do. Competition on the high street is not just between hair salons, but between everywhere where people are likely to spend their money. People have to decide whether they're going to buy a pair of shoes or get their hair coloured and cut. They weigh it up where they're going to put their money. Throughout building up your business... What would you say was the pinnacle where you thought that you'd made it? Joining the business when I did, it was something that I wanted to grow. My husband, at the time, he would probably admit that he was looking to wind down. Met me and suddenly realised he had to wind back up again. Growing the business, doing things differently, coming up with ideas is where I feel I'm probably at my best. When I could see, yes, we were going from three members of staff, gradually growing the team, growing our client base, I felt that we were going somewhere and we were awarded Hair Salon of the Year 2016. And now I've been thrown a new challenge and maybe this experience I will look back on as being perhaps a turning point onwards and upwards. I live my life wanting to be different. I don't want to blend in. I don't want to be typical anything. I do like to break the rules a little bit. I just don't want to be like everybody else. And in business, the same, to get noticed. There's a lot of us out and about there. I want to stand out.